never gets old to have greatness in this building. And anytime you have a championship level team, it just brings a little bit something extra to the table. And I think even though obviously our guys are not as familiar with that team, they are familiar with the tradition of Indiana and they walk in every day and they see that banner. They see it in their locker room and they see it in the arena. And uh, really special uh, couple of moments there for them to meet everybody to get that picture taken, which is something that will mean a lot more to them somewhere down the road. But it was also great to have that team in the locker room and share a little time with them. And uh, it's, it's beneficial for everybody because it's such a tremendous tradition here. And any time you can have your players exposed to it and they just get a chance to, to rub elbows, it, 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 there's no question it, it, it uh, can work the right way. And as far as the game, I thought we had uh, uh, passion. Played with a lot of passion. We always play hard. We always work extremely hard. I had no complaints with that whatsoever. But uh, when energy, toughness, passion are all there together, you've got a chance to, to be really good. And we were. We had 74 deflections tonight. We had the rebound numbers. I know we had the assist turnover ratio. We had the, the 24 assists, I think it was, out of four on the 30 field goals, right? Yes. Okay. And, and uh, uh, we had it. We had great energy. And uh, it was important to get the game started off the right way it, it, with, with that energy mindset from the beginning and we did and everybody came in and and played that way and it's ironic that christian let us in deflections with 13. and uh, not only you know the, the numbers he had uh were impressive but the deflection numbers to me are even more impressive and uh uh to me the, the stat sheet always comes down to uh, did you impact the game you know on both ends of the floor and the more that you can look at the floor plus minus the more that you can look at the deflections, the more that you can look at the free throw attempts. You know, then we go back and we, we grade the blockouts and the offensive rebound attempts and the shot challenges and the post feeds and three stops in a row. I think we had great numbers there. You know, fouls drawn. You know, it's always about impacting the game. And I thought tonight, for the most part, almost everybody impacted the game in a really positive way. First question. Uh, you talk about just Jordan hitting a thousand, and, and you you kind that of taking cool. the thing. I, I knew he was close, and I just completely lost track of where it was at. And when they when the crowd erupted, obviously they were well in tune with it. And then Jordan reminded me I was taking him out anyways, and uh, or getting ready to take him out. And uh, just an impromptu, uh, and I ran down and told the coach he got his thousand point. I'm just trying to I'm trying to make a big deal of it. We certainly weren't trying to show anybody out. But I don't think he took it that way, but. But that, that kid epitomizes what we're doing. I mean, he epitomizes Indiana basketball in so many ways. And, and I think people from the past can identify with him and the Halls family. Uh, people in the future, I think, can look at Jordan Halls and, 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 and see what can happen when you, when you play in this program and you grow up really loving this program. But most importantly, he impacts our present. And, and um, it, it's awesome. He thought I was taking him out because he took a long three. I, mean, I love when he takes those threes. You know, we need him to do that. But uh, really, really incredibly proud uh, that, that, that he got that. And it's an honor to coach him. I mean, it really is. I mean, and, and we get on him and all those things. But he has grown so much as a player. And obviously, he was so well coached before with J.R. Holmes and with his dad and his family. And he just keeps getting better and better. He epitomizes what we want this to be about. Coach, does it tell, tell you what he's all about? Because he didn't know what we were doing. Well, I guess we're in the same wavelength because I didn't know what I was doing either until he hit the <laughs> shot. But no, he didn't know. I mean, I think that's a, that's a great example of these guys. I don't think they knew there was free Mexican food either for anybody if we scored 100. I didn't know that. You know, and, and so what was that? What was that? I knew. <laughs> who, was the, who was the company? Uh, Qdoba, right? Yeah. Well, they're excellent. They're excellent. <laughs> you can't go wrong in this town with Mexican food now. Qdoba, Chipotle, all the places. You know, Casa Brava. You can't go wrong. It's great food in this town, but no, I didn't know that, so it wouldn't have impacted anything. You're a better corporate shield than Will. Just so you know. <laughs> Will just speaks his mind. <laughs> He endorsed Chipotle. Um, he, he keeps playing the way he's playing. There's going to be days he's going to get endorsement deals. So, <laughs> it's not yet, though. Terry. Coach, you mentioned the 24 assists on 30 baskets. I mean, how much fun is it to coach a team that is that unselfish with the basketball? Well, that's fun, but, it, but I think it, it's how we got to it, which was really important. I mean, we, 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 we did some really, really good things defensively. 
And again, it, it sounds trite, but energy, toughness, passion, when those three things are combined and they're there, it, it, it just, a lot of really good things happen. And I think, um, you know, what we did is we went back and showed last night the teaching tape that we show to recruits when they come and how we play. And I think it was important that they see that because it's, it's again, we've been playing really hard. We've been playing pretty together. And, and uh, I mean, again, I mean, we've had, we've had different, different things going on. We don't have a full team. We're missing a lot of our front line. Cody was just at the beginning of getting sick on Monday. We hadn't, I mean, Cody was in a sweatshirt all day. He hadn't done anything with this program other than be with the doctors and Tim Garl uh, and his mother until uh, this afternoon at walkthrough. And I cut that short, so we brought him back out to make sure he had a little bit of sweat. And it's like I said the other day, when he's telling you that he's, that he's sick, he should probably be home in bed, and that's exactly where he's been the last few days. So we, we don't have everything clicking yet, and we don't have a full team yet, but we got a lot of guys that, that, that can do a lot of different things. And when they, they get it rolling on the defensive end, a lot of things happen on the offensive end for us. Okay. You, you might need to see the tape for this, but your thoughts on Yogi's off the ball defense? It seems Very like he's really doing I, I, well. I said to Yogi the other night that this is rare for a freshman. This is why he's going to be a special player because you know the offense wasn't there for him as much tonight. The offense wasn't there the other night. You never look out there and can tell that. There's no body language. There's no frustration. I mean, he's just playing. I mean, his defense was really, really good. If Jordan, Yogi, Mo, Remy. If those four guys can guard, uh, and, 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 and we already know what Vic and Will are capable of defensively, and they're a little bit bigger, but if those four guys can guard that way, we're just going to keep getting better and better. And Yogi brings a ton to the table defensively because we're trying to do some different things in the second half and, uh, and keep ourselves, you know, I don't go to the hole at 0-0. Zero, zero. I don't think anybody buys that. But, I mean, there's got to be things that we've got to be getting better at in the game. And we had about three different things going on in the second half, and I thought they did a really good job with those things. How, how, how about you? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, beyond just, just getting to 1,000, just how good was Jordy seeing the floor tonight, five assists in the time? Excellent, excellent. Again, simplicity. You know, these guys make, they make home run plays when they hit singles, and I think it, every team has got to learn that. And, and, and when they just make the simple next pass, and, and, and again, he got back to really using his left hand and uh, we, which is important, he's such a very, he's such a good one-hand passer, and uh, his vision is excellent. Yogi's vision is excellent. That stuff's infectious. I mean, it really is. It's like if one person is not playing hard, it stands out. If one person isn't playing tough, it stands out. If one person, it, it, and even the, the free throws can be a little infectious. You know, Christian went 11 for 11, but we, we've all got room for improvement there. But when you're moving the ball, when it, when it's quick passing, it. it, it, it it's not allowed to stick anywhere. I mean, it, it stands out too much. And on this team, if it stands out, we're going to sub. So to me, the way they're moving the ball is the way they need to play. And this was great for them to see themselves play this way this year, uh, this early in the season. So, you wouldn't mind elaborating. Just, I mean, how valuable was it to be able to do some different things defensively for an extended period of time and just? just try well, we had that's all part of the plan. I mean, we, we don't have a lot of multiple defenses in yet. We we really have not even uh, triggered the defensive playbook uh, the, the way we're going to and and uh, some of that's because we're not as deep I know you think we're deep but when we're missing the guys on the front line that that takes us out of a, doing some of the things we're going to be able to do eventually and, and defensively but but uh, we want to be able to mix man and zone you know we haven't really put many specialties in yet and we're not doing a lot of trapping and and uh, those things will come but, but, we, but we wanted to do a couple things in the half court to create pace and we wanted to be really good when they got into their side pick and roll and not let them split it a couple times they did. They, I, I told their coach, I said, you got a better team than you think. I mean, we prepared hard for this team. And it was short because we didn't go Tuesday, but we prepared hard. I mean, they really, really played well. I mean, we locked into their out-of-bounds series, and it started when Bob Marlin was the coach there, who's now at Louisiana Lafayette. Their, their out-of-bounds series is as good as there is. And, and I mean, seriously. And we tried to really take that away. We were locked into those things. But but switching the defenses to the zone, how we played the side pick and roll, and what a couple things that we wanted on offense were things that we tried to make adjustments on during the game. Terry? By bringing Christian in off the bench, were you hoping that he'd be a little hungrier than maybe he was the other night? Well, I just think that, that, that what I'll say there is, I mean, it, we, we just wanted to make a little energy change. And I think, uh, 
he played with, with as much energy as anybody on the court tonight. And I think it showed up in his numbers. Uh, I gotta believe he feels good about the way he played, and I'm looking at it and saying those 13 deflections were huge. Anything else for Coach? What did you like that you saw in Will with them starting tonight? I stand. I think Will's a starter. I mean, I, I, I could easily look at. I mean, I, I, I'm not making that up when I say that I look at our team like we've got seven starters. And and uh, uh, frankly, if, if Cody wouldn't have been able to go tonight, I'd start Jeremy. I mean, so I mean, it's not. I mean, he, he's working his way up there too. He's disappointed in the way that he played, and, and he can do so much more. But I mean, he's you know he's he's learning that emotional level. That's why we recruited him. I mean, I, I think he. I mean, he's a very good player when he gets those triggers that are natural. You know, and that emotional level is high, and that communication on the court is high, and he's engaged with his teammates and talking and 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 you know popping his chest and chest bumping. You'll you'll see that. I mean, it's. I know he didn't see it in high school, neither did I, but it's there. I mean, we just, we're going to bring it out. It's just going to take a little time. So, in answer to your question on Will, I, I look at Will as a starter, whether he's starting or not. So I don't, I don't, I think Will's the kind of guy that that uh, he can do whatever you ask him to do. And as you keep trying to get, as we keep trying to get across to this team, you know, starting is good. How you finish and who's finishing is more important because we're going to be in those kind of games here pretty soon. Zach. What does it mean, I guess, when you do move a guy who started a lot of games to the bench and he gives you the performance that he did, he brings the energy like he talked about? It means we won the game, we played pretty well, and, and uh, uh, we've got a chance to, to keep improving. It, it means that energy, toughness, and passion uh, are the, are the, have got to be at the forefront of the program. And when everybody plays that way, good things happen. So, I mean, to me, that's, that's what it is. Okay. Last question, Nathan. You, Coach, talked about the energy your team played with tonight. What do you feel like you guys need to do to keep that momentum going into this next weekend? And practice that way. That sounds simple. It's it's harder than it sounds. Just practice that way. We we've got to we've got to uh, we've got to embrace. It. Again, it, it's like hard work versus competition. You know that they're, they're everybody works hard. You know the the teams that compete time and time again are the ones that separate. This team works hard. I mean, I come in this morning. And, and there's a guy shooting at 8.15. I leave last night at 10 to 12. There's a guy shooting with the guys. I mean, they're, they're working hard. And, and they're in the gym. And they're spending their time at it. But it's that passion that they've got to have on a daily basis that's going to that's gonna push them. And uh, this is the time of their life. This is the time of their life. And, and, uh, and they've, got to, they've got to enjoy it. Not just because of where they're ranked, but, but because of why they're ranked. Because of what they've done to get to this point. We got to go enjoy it, and and part of that enjoyment is looking at every day like I'm coming out of here, I'm dominating, I'm impacting, winning, and I'm going to feel like I got a lot better when the day is over. And that's really that's our job. Keep pulling that out. Okay, thanks, guys. All right, thank you.